Hi, my name is Cheryl Vigil, and I'm here to ask you screenwriters a question. Does your dialogue suck? Be honest now, does it? If you can't write dialogue fit for a jackass, I've got great news for you, so keep watching. But first, let's listen to two different samples of dialogue, and afterwards, I'll show you a surprisingly simple method to strengthen your dialogue. So I had sex with a minor. So what? They said she was only 16. 16, 18. Like anyone could really tell the difference. Well, I couldn't. Now I'm going to spend the next 10 years of my life living in a cell. Ooh, kind of like a strong sedative, huh? Okay, now let's look and listen at a much stronger piece of dialogue. Note that the same information is revealed, yet your attention is held much better this time around. So I banged a bra that was a little bit too young. Big fucking deal. Cops claimed the little tramp had just turned 16. 16? 18? Like I'm supposed to tell the difference? Well obviously I couldn't tell the difference. Now I get to spend the next decade of my life living in a 10 by 10 concrete cell. <laughs> Hard to believe the same guy wrote both pieces, isn't it? The second example is obviously the stronger of the two. But why exactly is it more powerful than the first, hmm? Because it's packed with plosives. And as everyone knows, plosives are pleasing to the ear. What's that? You don't know what a plosive is? And you call yourself a writer? <laughs> okay, let's listen to what the American Heritage Dictionary of the English language has to say about a plosive. Of, relating to, or being a speech sound produced by complete closure of the oral passage and subsequent release accompanied by a burst of air, as in the sound p in pit or d in dog. Now, there are many examples of plosives, but the most obvious can be created by using seven different letters. B as in boy, C as in cow, K as in kill, P as in power, Q as in quill, T as in trance, and X as in vixen. There are two other letters, D as in down and the hard G as in grain. It's arguable whether these last two letters are true plosives, but they are definitely close enough to give your dialogue some extra bite. If you want to make your dialogue stronger, follow this one simple rule. For every word of dialogue, try to use at least one plosive. That's it. Sounds too easy? Let's take a look at the first piece of dialogue again. Note that the plosive letters are in yellow. So I had sex with a minor. So what? They said she was only 16. 16, 18, like anyone could really tell the difference. Well, I couldn't. Now I'm going to spend the next 10 years of my life living in a cell. Dialogue like that can put a corpse to sleep. Now, let's listen again at the stronger piece of dialogue. So I banged a bra that was a little bit too young. Big fucking deal. Cops claimed the little tramp had just turned 16. 
16, 18. Like I'm supposed to tell the difference? Well, obviously, I couldn't tell the difference. Now I get to spend the next decade of my life living in a 10 by 10 concrete cell. That's 59 words and 56 plosives. And even though it isn't a one-to-one -one ratio, it's definitely strong enough to capture and maintain the attention of any listener. So, there you go. Now that you know which letters create plosives, you'll find it a snap to create crisp, crackling, and attention-grabbing dialogue using plosive-packed words. For more information on plosives, go to christianblake.com and read Christian's essay on plosive power. Until next time, take care and thanks for listening.